Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to bring you something a bit different, something I've never done before on this channel and it's going to be an overnight challenge. Now it's not going to be something extremely exciting because this is the first overnight challenge I've ever done but it's a start and I think it'll be fun. Where is this overnight challenge going to be at me you ask? Up there. In the loft! Now my loft, or attic as you may call it in America, isn't very exciting. It's basically your average dusty old loft for a boiler in it. Very old boiler because this house is pretty old. Yeah, we haven't really got a modern boiler in this room, in this house. But yeah, it's your average dusty attic and I'm going to spend a night in there. Who knows what will happen. There might be some ghosts in there. I very much doubt it because this house is nil haunted but we'll find out. We'll have some fun up there. Oh yeah, and on a side note, Jack is currently in America. I was going to go with Jack to America but something came up and I wasn't able to go but Jack if you're watching this I hope you're having fun in America and also guys Jack and Cassie are both doing a vlog it's the first proper vlogs I've ever done so please keep a lookout for those vlogs because I think they're going to be extremely awesome I've already seen some video clips of the one Jack's doing and I have to say it's pretty hilarious there'll probably be some links on my channel once they're up one big YouTube family, that's what we all are. <laughs> so yeah, before I go in the loft, I need to prepare a few things. Well, I'm on my way to the shop to pick up some snacks for this crazy challenge. Let's go! This is the first time I've vlogged in my local Morrison since the urban restoration video I did at Noga's house. One litre sugar free energy, I'll take that. Because I'm going to be up late so I'll need it. Do 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 Cheesy music. You know what? I think I'm gonna have a fruit binge tonight. I'm gonna get these watermelon wedges. Fruit binge for the attic. Oh, look at the cakes. It's a shame I'm on a diet because if I wasn't, I would be all over that cake aisle. Goodbye, Morrisons. You've served me well. Jack and Cassidy are currently streaming right now. Jack's doing Cassidy's hair, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> I wish I was there, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> so I'm back from Morrison's and I've got a pretty nifty haul. There's my the watermelon wedges. Uh, the energy drink, that's got to keep us up to like 3 to 4 a.m. I'm staying up pretty late on this challenge because I want to fill in as much as possible. I'm probably going to be lying in. Well, who would have thought I would have ever slept in my little loft? <laughs> well, I didn't think that about 10 years ago. Now it's pretty uh, expected from my YouTube channel. Got some dip dabs because I thought I would have a little treat right up there. Some dip dabs! Regina and America in the place. <laughs> dip dab! <laughs> Daddy should have never bought me a camera. Let's get prepared and go in the loft. I'm looking forward to this. Let's go! That is the entrance to the loft in the middle room. <sighs> pretty dark up there but do have light up there basically I'm planning to spend the first hour or two up there with the light on then I'm gonna turn the light off and be in complete darkness I'll only have like a little light to light the place up with it's more of a dark and dingy dust trap than anything not a scary attic but we're gonna spend a night in there so come along youtubers join us in this crazy crazy challenge <laughs> wow <laughs> yes this room actually used to be my bedroom back in the day, but now it's just used as storage. And it's pretty darn messy, so I'm going to move all these things away, yes. It's all junk anyway. Let's clear some space for the ladders. <laughs> so I've set some rules for this challenge. So the only reasons I can leave the loft is for an emergency or the toilet. I'm bringing the power bank with us. I'm not allowed to go out the loft and get anything. I've got to bring everything I need into the loft. All my toiletries, bedding power bank to charge me phone with and everything because I'm spending the night there. So without further ado, let's go and grab some stuff and head upwards! Ah, ah. Just finished charging my Bluetooth speaker because I've taken that in the loft too. It's not a very good Bluetooth speaker this one but I'm getting a brand new one very very soon and it's like a hundred times better than this one. It should do the night. We've got to go with what we've got guys. Pillow, let's start taking things up to the loft. I've got an inflatable mattress somewhere. Don't know where it is, but we'll find it. This is how we are the layout of my houses, guys. To open the loft door fully, you have to close the door. 
And then, <laughs> then that comes down, just a random slash. Hello, I missed a lot. <laughs> what the hell? One pillow going up. <laughs> Hold on. This is a bit more difficult than I thought it would be. Go, go, go. Yeah, I've got it. Let's microphone stand this in the loft. Poke! Okay, I think it's in. I'm gonna have my creature comforts up there. Guys, I am microphone standing the blanket in the loft. <laughs> Come on. <coughs> this is the weirdest feed I've ever done the whole year. Okay, we've kind of got stuff up there. I'll set the ladders up and probably put it in there because that's just stupid. <laughs> now we've got to search the rest of the house for the inflatable mattress. I know it's somewhere in the house. Right, I think we're pretty much all set now. <laughs> well, it's time to go in the attic and set me makeshift bed up. I'll be coming back for my phone because it's still charging. First look at the attic. Hello. <laughs> On a strange view, just me coming at the floor like Ugh. There it is, my dusty old beautiful attic There's the old boiler in the corner Well, we've got a dead wasp there Nice to know I'm going to be sharing my room for the night with that Do I set up my bed at that side? Or do I set my bed up at this side? There's a house through that wall, so I've got to put my Bluetooth speaker over there, so the sound doesn't travel through the wall. I think over here, because there's more room, I've just got to shift some boxes, and then I should be good to go. There's the bed. Now I've just got to put this lovely fluffy rug onto it. It's going to be while I'm sleeping on top, so it's going to be quite cosy. At least I think it's going to be cosy. I'll have it this side. I don't know. I just feel it like it belongs to the side. It's pretty good, this LED. Like, you can see the whole loft now. It's a pretty cramped loft. Not going to lie. That boiler is, like, really old, and we've had lots of problems with it. When we first moved here, the uh, ball cock inside, it was uh, broken. And the fiend flooded, and... Yeah, you can probably imagine what happened. It came through the ceilings and stuff, and it wasn't very good. Ah, oh, there we're gone. There we're gone, walk it up. Didn't that look awesome? Bed in the loft. Just casually got a very creepy looking doll lying there. Well, guys, I'm going down for the last time before I'm staying in the loft for the night. I'm going to pick up my phone say my prayers to me mum <laughs> so let's go I'm going to take you guys with us let's go just to show you guys it's dark outside it's definitely night it's 12.24 so it's nearly midnight this is going to be pretty fun I'm going in the loft now See you later. Uh. <laughs> That's all my phone and stuff. That's going to be my lifeline for the night. Let's go! Into a black void. And we're just going to have the attic light on for now. <laughs> now the switch to turn the light off in here is pretty much just there on that wall. Can't really see very well but it's just there. So all I have to do is reach down, turn it off, and then this loft will be plunged into darkness. But I'm going to keep it on for a while. This is basically a box of family photos. There's thousands and thousands of family photos in there. Let's just get a, something random from the top. Carol Annick, History, Geography. I don't know who Carol Annick is, that's my sister, and this is probably one of our old school books. Lots of history here. Oh, look at that. Today, we know exactly what our world looks like. Oh my god, 1984. <laughs> that is an old book. Yeah, my sister's older than me, so you can imagine this This school book will be pretty old. You can look, even looks old. Family history right here. There's hundreds of photos and stuff in there. I'm not going to go through them. Maybe I might do that on a separate video one day, but who knows. If this video gets enough likes and comments, then I'll do it. But yeah. That's the history box. That doll has really creeped me out. <laughs> it's music time. <coughs> Turn the thing on. 
Oh, perfect. Let's see what songs we've got on Spotify. I've got pretty awesome music taste if I don't say so myself, so <laughs> let's have a look. Here's the playlist that all my awesome songs are in. Shuffle play. There we go. Got some epic tunage now. Love party! Put me goodies on me beautiful hotel bed here. Beautiful hotel bed. Watermelon. Energy. Ooh, pretty awesome selection. I do love a bit of watermelon in the attic. <laughs> oh, Thumbs up for the stupidity of this video. Watermelon in the attic, man. Watermelon in the attic. Mm. Oh yeah, level 42. Such a good song, by the way. Level 42 are an epic band. Love 80s music. Blame me, Brian Law, for getting us in this music. Children say. I think I want to have a loft rave. In between the rafters. <laughs> Struck by a fallen tile. Wish I could like tie this onto the rafter like. Should have bought some tape, shouldn't I? Check out where the epic light -like placement. On top of the air boiler. Oh, it's wet, ew. There. A poisonous dusty water on me. That's pretty cool though. It's like a Dalek with a big light on top of it. Exterminate. All the pipes off that. Jesus. Pipe central. There are spotlights. There's a bathroom below there. And you can see the light off the spotlights above. It's pretty cool. Saves I'm enjoying being in the loft so far. It's pretty cool. How is this for video reception? I'm watching a 24 hour loft challenge while doing a 24 hour loft challenge. Shout out to Steven Productions for their attic challenge. There's their attic hall. There's my attic hall. <laughs> attic hall. Steven Productions. This video is pretty epic. And your attic looks better than mine, so kudos to you. Which attic challenge has ever had a Bluetooth speaker? Let's have a look in the, the spongy areas. See what crazy things we can find. That looks like... A roll of wire and I don't know what that is, some giant bulb or something. <laughs> yeah, there's some pretty weird things lying around in here. And I think that's it, just bits of wood and that, yeah. And at this side we've got... Hello, tacky boiler. <laughs> A lot of insulation there. I don't know why there's one big lump there. Like all of that's flat and then there's a giant pile there. Maybe because it's the bathroom and it gets damp or something, I don't know. Oh my god, it's a golf bag, you know what you have golf clubs in? A twirly thing over there. That looks like a cable. But it doesn't look like it's attached to anything. Oh, oh wait! An aerial- oh my god! How come I've lived in this house so long I've never noticed there's an aerial there? That's crazy! How did I never notice that? Oh well. This loft has an aerial. Seriously guys, in my old house, my dad was obsessed with aerials. And he had an attic, it was slightly bigger than this one. And you literally put about 20 aerials in the loft. Basically it was like this, and there was like an aerial there, an aerial there, an aerial there, an aerial there, an aerial there. <laughs> Basically you couldn't get moved because there were so many aerials. Yeah, my dad was a bit uh, tech obsessed. He still is, kind of. If you live in Newcastle and you ever move in a house with a million aerials in the loft, a million abandoned aerials, then it's probably the house we used to live in years ago. I don't think anyone had as many aerials as my dad did. Can I like, put some on top of it, like, hide you cause you're creeping us out. <laughs> Christmas decorations. Well guys, I'm going to watch some YouTube videos. Have a little bit tight myself. 
eat some snacks and if anything interesting happens I'll fill him. But I'll probably be back in like half an hour or so. I'm just going to have a bit of chill time in the loft. Anyway, see you in a bit. <laughs> that tune like faded out just at the right time. See you in a bit. Well guys, I thought I would crack open these dip dabs. Yo! <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I am nuts, honestly. What am I doing with my life? Oh, I've lost the dip dabs now. Oh, there they are. Found them. Do, 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 never had one of these in like years. Oh, it's wonky. Hmm. Oh, yeah, it's a bit. Good stuff. I like to dip dab. There's me studio lighting, you know. I'm also going to do a live stream and keep that light on as well, so that's pretty cool. Well, guys, I finished doing my live streams. I did one on Facebook and one on YouTube. Things are still going strong. We've still got the music going. It's now, let's see what time it is. 1.56 p.m. And we've got John Paul on. John Paul! <laughs> oh, if you didn't know me, Brian Law is a drummer. He, he's a drummer for the Lorraine Crosby Band. If you know who they are, then thumbs up, you're awesome. And yeah, he's met John Paul. That's pretty cool. I haven't really watched many YouTube videos so far. I've mainly live streamed and been eating the dip dabs. I haven't eaten the lolly yet, but... Still eating Sherman off it. My mum must have went in the bathroom because the lights just came on there. That means there's someone in the bathroom. I bet she's really enjoying the fact I'm having like a rave in here. <laughs> Trying to get to sleep. <laughs> Well, it's two minutes to two o'clock in the morning, and as soon as it hits two o'clock, I'm gonna turn the main light off, and I'm gonna be plunged into darkness. I'm only gonna have that light in my bed. It's gonna be scary because all of this area is gonna be dark, and who knows what will come out. Hopefully no rats. I don't think the rats will come out when they've heard all this noise. And as I go to sleep, and they'll be like, oh, there's no noise. The person must have gone, and then the rats will, and then the rats will come out and get us and eat me, eat us alive and stuff. <laughs> Hopefully not. Remix. It's now two o'clock. We've got Nick Kershaw blasting. Rock on. That sounds like a swear word on that song. <laughs> Dear Mr. Nick Kershaw out of the Bluetooth speaker there, please watch over me. While well, we get plunged into darkness. Ready? Yes. Oh my god. Spookiness. Such happy music playing when it's so scary. It just doesn't work. It just feels weird. It just feels wrong. This is actually quite scary now. The bed. Oh yeah, good tunes. Good tunes. I really want to close this door, but I don't know how. Um, I can't close it because the ladder's up, but I can do this and get this box lid and put it over. So we're kind of locked in. Technically, we're not locked in. Just hope I don't stand on that. But that's just to like give the illusion that we're locked in. Jesus Christ. I think we need some spooky music. Hold on. I'm going to go on my phone and get some spooky music. That's more like it. Creepy music for Halloween. Oh god, that doll is like going to murder us in my sleep, isn't it? <sighs> Scary. Scary. Perfect music for the, this uh, loft right now. Don't want to don't fall through that. Let's get on the bed because. Ah, my knees are hurting. Guys, a bit of a problem. The tripod fitting broke off the bottom of this light, so we can't attach it to the tripod anymore. But I'll figure out something. Still got the creepy music playing. I may just uh, put it like that. That works. I've had my first technical hitch. Um, yeah, that's just happened. 
Um, just to show you how dark it is. That's what it's like with the light off. Complete darkness. All you can see is the light of the Bluetooth speaker, the light of my phone, and that's just facing towards the floor. So let's pick it up. <laughs> Total darkness in here. Not a sausage. It's not very scary in here. I mean, it is quite spooky, but I think it'll be more scary if I like, heard a noise or something. Like a scuttling noise. So in complete darkness now. I'm also going to turn the music off. 214. Music off. Look how creepy the loft, lo loft looks in low light. Then it's 2.52 and my phone thinks it's in South Shields but we're in Kilmeth right now so get your places right phone. And it's the 1st of July, yay! So yeah, I think I'm going to end the video for a night. My light's spazzing out, kind of. I mean there's nothing really much left to film anymore. I think I've like exhausted everything. But it's been fun. It's been an interesting night to say the least. I'm definitely going to do more overnight challenge in different places but the loft is a first for me. I'll see you later. Say bye to... Yachtic. Oh that looks scary. See you in the morning guys. Peace out. So I just beat the toilet and used the hot water tap downstairs and... <coughs> this is the sound the boiler makes. I'm so jealous that Jack and Cassidy are spending the 4th of July together. Oh my god. I wish I was there. But I hope they're having fun and I can't wait to see you guys vlog. I'm going to be helping Jack edit the vlog. So that should be fun. And Cassidy's going to be editing hers and... Okay, I'm going to get back in bed now. It is now quarter past three and it's pretty difficult to breathe. This is not going to be a very great night but... It's going to be a very memorable one and I'm doing this for you guys on YouTube. I'm putting my... <laughs> I'm putting my life on the line. I'm, I'm putting my life, my heart and soul on the line for you guys. <laughs> so thumbs up for this video. I'm going to get eaten alive by colour rats tonight. Well guys, it is 7.48 in the morning. And pretty knackered. I've only had two hours sleep because I finally managed to get to sleep at about four o'clock to five o'clock. So I've literally only been asleep for like two hours. The sun's came up. I think what I'm going to do since I'm so tired, I can't breathe properly and I just feel awful right now. I'm going to head out the attic and go to my proper bed because I've slept here for two hours. Technically that's classes at night <laughs> and it's daylight outside so yeah and I don't really feel the best right now so I'm going to catch up on some proper sleep because I think I really need it so yeah I'll be taking this blanket and the pillow downstairs and going to my proper bed. I'll probably return to the loft to do like one last outro video for this video once I've uh, did my sleep and I'll have to get all the stuff as well. But yeah, time to go in my proper bed. I'll see you guys in a second. It's now 11.10. And yeah, I had a much better sleep in my own bed than uh, that thing over there. But I still did the challenge. I still slept in yeah, even though it was for two hours. And I slept in yeah, the morning, kind of. So that's good. I know it wasn't a true overnight challenge, but... I didn't want to spend a whole night in the with that the steel air and stuff. I think next time I do anything like this, I'm going to bring like a gas mask and go to sleep wearing it. It's been epic. Yes, and I ate all the dib dabs. I'm sorry I didn't leave any for you guys.
I think it's safe to say that there's no rats up here as well because I didn't hear a single thing while I was asleep. It's funny how some places you get like loads of rats in people's attics and that and then you get some other places where there's not a single rat in the attic. I just think it depends on the area and the climate and how rat proof your house is I suppose. Anyone who's made it this far of the video, I'll let you name the creepy doll. So please comment below what we will name the creepy doll. And the one who gets the best name, I'll reply to your comment mm -hmm. and I'll say that you choose the best name and you can get the name of the doll, so... Yeah, maybe creepy, but I'm not that stingy. I'll give it a nice home. Should I sit on top of the boiler? I think that would be funny. There we go. That's going to be the creepy doll's new home from now. Keep watch on the water mains. <laughs> I think I'm going to attempt to do something pretty stupid and walk on the rafters. Um. Try and walk on this beam here. Don't know why I'm doing this, I just thought I would for the crack. Not standing on that because I'll probably go through the ceiling. <sighs> Check how crazy it is behind here. Yeah. I think this is definitely empty, this, uh, this thing. Yep, yeah, it's definitely empty. wonder if that's worth anything, an empty golf thing. Oh god. Well, that pipe clearly needs nowhere. Why is there just pipes everywhere? Has there been like earlier pipe and then the current pipe in and like they've just left all the pipe in here? I think that's possibly what's happened. So anyway, that's the end of the video and thought I would do a wide shot to end the video. This is the law. It's making a very big noise because I'm using the boiler as a tripod. <laughs> so yeah. See you guys later, thanks for watching and subscribe, like and give the doll a name in the comments and see you later, until next time.